today we will conduct demonstration of the module fleet maintenance fleet maintenance module is very important for all the companies who own lot of vehicles so the vehicle performance driver performance everything else comes from this module what you can see on the screen is top expenses vehicle report which is it can give you any vehicle for a particular uh, model and manufacturer years can give you what are the expenses done on that particular vehicle during a period of time and the money and the earn earning by it and what is the percentage of uh, the earning of the truck this report this is just a sample report you can get many reports like this in both data and digital graphic forms now let me start with the module this is called workshop and maintenance module in this module you have both inventory control procurement and tire and battery management including spare parts inventory so what it all covers uh, when a user logs in into the screen what it finds is there are certain notification and alerts like what you see on the screen is documents renewals for this particular category particular vehicle number up, which is due and which has already been uh, expired which has not yet been uh, renewed it gives you an alert within a specified time period now the second one is license renewal for all of your drivers their license renewal their uh, issue date and the expiry date same way you have vehicle maintenance different heads of maintenance uh, that is preventive maintenance and vehicle availability at that particular location particular point of time in a bird's eye view it covers in masters what it covers in master is the maintenance heads defining preventive dues last work done item type attributes definitions for each item employees etc order management is the complete procurement management which is requisition from the stores purchase quotations issued to the vendors and purchase orders spare parts and inventory we have the inventory module which is opening stock receipts issues return and adjustment under maintenance you have inspection of the truck estimation generation of estimate and approval by the manager job card job progress work order and service bill then we have tire management you can define axle position for each of your model and brand of trucks vehicles and then is the tire fitment tire inspection tire corrections retreat issue receipts and stock transfer if any same way we will have battery positions and battery fitment and it can give you reports on how much efficient a battery is how much servicing it is able to do and then there will be now n number of reports under various heads like analysis mi stock report tire reports battery pending reports and alerts under each and every head we have many reports that i like to explain later let me just quickly go through the masters you can create your own maintenance heads various types of maintenance heads under preventive and repair types and there could be a different service type like normal replacement inspection etc and you can define the defects and the name for this particular head and likewise so what you can see you can see a simple data for example these are the simple data already punched for the purpose of demonstration so different heads come here and when you want to just see one particular head click on this particular tick button right mark and you see the specifications in detail same way preventive tools last work done item creation which could be item uh, stands for all the stores item all the purchases including your tire and your tubes and loops and everything so <clears throat> it is defined uh, uh, for a particular code under a particular item type like battery spare part tire so under these three categories you can define any purchases and whether this is stockable or non-stock item and if it is a service type of item the name of the item 
and this is accounting link to the particular uh, financial head and all user requirements uh, user measurements like base unit packing unit if there is in conversion for tire details for a tire a type of item there would be for, uh, uh, more to categories like category size ply etc etc and same way you will for battery details you have another like voltage length width and height capacity dimension of attributes for other items and packing units and pallet units and other attributes for any other item that you need, need to uh, store the life at the kilometer the temperature capacity etc etc we come to the order management that is your complete procurement management part where you first you get the requisition from the workshop from the warehouse what which item is low uh, on on minimum reorder level or minimum order level uh, activity you have stock item and quantity requisitioned and at what rate it has to be procured the rate automatically comes from the store but this is not compulsory and based on this requisition they generate a purchase quotation the raise is purchase quotation enter the quotation from different suppliers different vendors and with all terms and condition and specification of this and based on your own parameters like LOI or some other parameters you can issue a purchase order for buying the product so the purchase order you can directly raise a purchase order on a particular supplier or it can be against a particular order or particular requisition requisition uh, that is sent by the store or you can club multiple requisition in one purchase order as well so there would be supplier voucher number date and all other information and this is the product that you can enter and uh, that you can raise a purchase order for example we have for the purpose of this demonstration we have created one purchase order that you can see for amron batteries for some uh, number of cases and this is the purchase order and this purchase order you can print you can send a print copy or you can also email this to your vendor based on his based on the details that he has submitted so if that all parameters are given so you can have a purchase order format so this format can be design redesigned based on your own requirements now we go to the next part is spare part inventory where opening stock entry receipts issue and return it's very simple formats so you have like receipts metal receipt note you are receiving it against a particular purchase order the moment you enter a purchase order number over here and further you have other details so all other details will appear here like who is the supplier and uh, all other details so the only thing is you have to just enter the bill number and those details and this is going to hit your financial accounting as well so it has to be reconciled with the bill giving the bill sundries and other details receipts it will update your inventory and it will hit financial accounting same way we will have issued when a particular product is issued to the work workshop for a particular truck to be fitted on a particular truck so issue a return and stock adjustment we come to the maintenance part which is one of the most important part for any truck owning company inspection of the truck so when an inspection is done so this is the format one has to enter the moment you enter the vehicle number so its last autometer etc will appear on that and so one has to enter the current autometer reading and so that the required data is filled on the screen and what is the defect different uh, list of defects will be there you can enter a defect description reported by inspected by and this is the inspection report which is uh, on the basis of inspection there is estimate is made then the estimate is approved by the manager and then comes the job card job card when a job card is created a particular a particular vehicle it's again same information will be captured like autometer readings and everything and previously jobs done on a particular date 
and the in date out date when it comes for uh, servicing and this detail of the uh, supervisor who is working on uh, that particular work particular uh, truck then you have maintenance head related which is uh, done on the truck what kind of work is done any spare part new spare part is changed new spare part is put and old is removed if there is tire fitment so there will be tire fitment detail and if uh, they are fitting a new battery so there could be a battery uh, fitting or battery repair detail as well job card and this job card will remain in progress till the time the it is finally uh, closed so job card is closed and it uh, captures all the data and then you will have work order that when you are issuing a work order to do a particular job so there is a facility to create a work order and service bill is identical to identical to a job order but only difference is when you are servicing your truck at a service center which is other than your own facilities so this particular form needs to be data needs to be entered in it so you have service center the service center name when you enter the service center name you can get a list of all the service centers that you have listed in your database with this all the detail and same way you will have maintenance head spare part and other charges other labor charges which is levied on that service bill and again this service bill is going to hit financial accounting as well as the truck database where you will find how many times the truck has gone for servicing and how many times it has been repaired and it uh, has a breakdown now tire details when a tire is fit on the truck you have tire excels fitment inspection etc we'll go to the fitment part so the moment you enter the uh, truck number you have for example this truck number belongs to you and your today auto beta rating is this and when you say get data you get the number of excels num number of uh, tires excel position it has so what you can see on the screen is these are various excel position defined so what you need to enter here is the truck tire number and its date and uh, kilometer would automatically be coming but if it is already truck already tire is fitted fitted on that so you will get all the tire number here along with the date and all the kilometer it has already covered so you have a total covered kilometer and cost per kilometer will be also shown next time when you go into the fitment and you have specifically further reports on how many kilometers a tire has completed so based on this data you can take a business decision that is an informed business decision whether to change the tire or whether to discard the tire or issue it for retreat you have the option for retreat issue and retreat receipt from the party same way for example retreat issue so you have to enter it and then add an item which is again a tire will be there so for example you say this particular tire and then the fire tire code and then there will be tire number which is very mandatory for each and every it has to be valid and so that it will show the uh, retreating price also because retreating rate and amount will be will come from your predefined database and when you issue a tire it is already with your retreater your job worker when you receive it back so there is a retreat receive against this particular issue so it also uh, keeps an accounts of what is already been issued and which is uh, pending with the uh, worker now you have battery position and battery fitment and then you have tools for uploading data and you know, we have reports we like to analyze a few reports over here like under analysis you have spare part report maintenance tire battery order management reports then you under MIS you have maintenance summary maintenance history last work done stock statement ledger uh, for a stock that is inventory position and tire details you have tire uh, details tires history tire costing summary mounted summary and tire removal and issues and same way you will have pending reports for purchase order purchase order already issued but material not received same way job card initiated but not yet completed any point of time 
so these are various report and e under each reports you have multiple type of uh, reports and uh, for example under maintenance summary if you want to look at the maintenance summary you will have this particular date range given for this and you want to see for each vehicle wise and for example i keep it a date range plus one year and click on show it will shows me a vehicle with the expenses done on that so this report will be the summary report same way there will be detailed report like this amount was spent on this particular truck but which part on which date and which uh, voucher number and everything every detail will be there so this way we complete uh, this particular module where you have each and every report and uh, so you can click on each report and whatever report you want to see so you have this tire history report for example again it will be on particular uh, tire number so when you have put a right tire number there so you can see the report this is a particular tire pertaining to this now this particular tire history comes over here it is on this particular day it was uh, there in the stock then it, it was issued for a particular truck and it was fitted on that truck the truck number is given over here and at which axle position and this number and at which odometer reading so it has uh, odometer reading at this time uh, it was so next time when the truck is uh, in the movement so you come to know how many how many kilometers it has already covered so likewise it gives you very fine reports so these are the uh, main points main uh, specification parts i view of the software so for further detail and uh, more uh, information on that you can contact png infotech for a free demonstration and live demonstration of the product and contact anytime thank you